All right, first thing you need for the project is you need a cheap cell phone case for your phone. I got a 5S. That'll work. You just want one that you can, uh, let me show you this. To make it easy, you want one like this. It's got rubber on the side so you can pop the phone in and out real easy. So that's what we're going with. Next thing you need is one of these uh, flexible drain pipe connectors. Right here. Inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. I think you, you get them in a the plumbing section, uh, Menards, Home Depot, anywhere, but inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. That's what you need. We also need an inch and a half cap for PVC. Just like this. And what you're going to do is, you can test it right in the store. Pull this. Hold on, you got to pull this clamp off. So you like that. Then you take that cap. It's hard doing this one handed. But you're going to make sure it snaps on here. And it's going to be tight. You got to do a lot of finagling and pushing and everything else to get it on. But that's what you're going to want right there. Just make sure it goes on. All right, and if you ain't got them, you're gonna have to go looking for them. You can either get six by three quarter or eight by three quarter. I like the six by three quarter because they're a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to work with, um, but eight by three quarter will also work. Wood screws, flathead, Phillips. Well, it doesn't matter if it's Phillips or what. I think they only come in Phillips, but it has to have a flathead and then six and three quarter or a flathead eight by three quarter. That's what all right, did. we got all of our stuff bought for our redneck scope cam, and it was more a little more than five dollars. I think I got, well, I know I got about probably less than fifteen into it. So get started is we got to take our cap, our PVC cap, and if you look, I take my glasses off so I can see. Damn it! If you look, there's an L right in there. That's the center, and we got to drill a hole in the center so when we put this on our scope. Uh, our camera can see through there. So you take that, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna center punch that. Just like that. So now I can go over on the drill press and I can drill that out and I'll get over there, I'll tell you what size we're gonna do and uh, we'll move on. All right, here we go. We're all ready to drill our hole. Uh, it's gonna be 3 eighths because this hole right here where my camera goes through has got a 3 eighths radius. So we got her all set. We're gonna drill her in. All right. We'll clean that up a little bit on the sander and we'll move on. All right, guys, check it out. We got our hole drilled in the center. And then we're going to uh, put this on our camera case on here. Now, you see how wide this is? Obviously, the hole doesn't cover it all. But on an iPhone, it's got to go to this outside edge right here because this edge is just the flash and everything. We don't need that. So we got to mount that right there so it's just like that so that's where the screws and stuff are going to come into play i'll get her all ready and away we'll go <clears throat> all right guys here we go that's where we're going to put our screws because when we put our cap on it's going to go to the outside you'll see that's where they're going to hit the thing so i got them started um and we're just going to screw them in and get it into the pvc so it holds it nice and steady we're going to make sure we got that we're going to make sure we got this edge lined up as we're screwing that's very 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 important so let me get that screwed together and i'll show you how it works all right here we go got it all screwed together the reason we use them flat screws is so this is nice and flat and when we put our camera in there our phone in there it'll lay nice and flat and we won't have any issues so once you get it screwed together all you do is take your piece there we got our uh hose clamp off the side Squeeze it together, and there you go. Put our put our camera in there. Put this on our scope. So let's go get this thing mounted up and freaking go kill something, man.
All right, here it is, our homemade scope cam. Slid it over the scope, screwed it down uh, nice and tight. And then what you do, me, I got an iPhone here. Just take, and you want to line that, uh, your camera part up to there. And just, uh, this is why you want the plastic one and the rubber part, so you can just pop it in there. Works better when it's warm up, but you can get it in there, just like that. We'll turn it on here. Um, Hold on, give me a second. Camera. And there we go. Scope cam. Adjustable. That's up to 12 power. And then the cool thing is you can go like this and make it even bigger. So now, let's go out and shoot something. 12. It's about a 70 yard shot. Pretty makeable. I gotta keep it steady here. Got him. This is a long shot. This is probably 75 yards. Got him. That right there was about a 50 yard shot.